Hello everyone, welcome back. Kevin with Survivalist Boards. Guys and gals, today we are going old school. I did not feel like setting up the tripod, getting out the voice recorder, all that. So I'm using a used, a new to me, but used little point and shoot camera I bought just for taking out on a form, something I could stick in my pocket and take out. All right guys, let's talk about the coronavirus. This is not the next black death. This is not the next smallpox. It has a very low fatality rate, depending on age, age, underlying health conditions, other factors. I imagine genetics plays a little bit of it. But it is just, it's amazing how fast things have disappeared off the shelf. It's just amazing how fast, just, now I wouldn't say that, because we've been, we've been hearing about this since December, here and there. It's, but everything that we've predicted, everything that we've talked about on the forum has come true. Some of y'all are, some of y'all non-formers are wondering of what we're looking at. These are rows of potatoes. So what we've got here is carrots. Not carrots, that's the other section over there. These are potatoes. I don't know, uh, 200 feet or so of pota uh, potatoes. And so, where were we at? Coronavirus. That's right, guys. This is not the next black death. It's not the next smallpox. It's nothing like that. What we need to do, though, is we need to take this serious. We need to take it serious because it's a pretty serious disease. Even though it's got a low fatality rate, a lot of people end up in a hospital. The more people end up in a hospital, the less ventilators there are, the more medical supplies we use. So we need to take this serious. We really need to take it serious. Try to be isolated, just like what news is saying. But, there's also a lot of lessons here. I mean, everybody across the board has dropped the ball. Everybody. Look at them potatoes, guys. Ain't that beautiful? I'm going to come in here and spread some fertilizer. We'll take that cultivator and mound this up. See this trough right here? We'll come in and spread that fertilizer in that trough. Then we'll take a cultivator and just mound that up down through there. And I'll show all that. I've shown the videos of that before. And build that mound up, and that's where the potatoes are going to go inside that mound. China lied, misled the public, was not honest. We knew that would happen. We knew that next time a plague came out of China that they were going to do that. World Health Organization dropped the ball. Then they blamed the United States. That was in all the other countries. How did World Health Organization drop the ball? Is they delayed declaring a global pandemic. They, de they delayed declaring a global emergency. I think that was me. I don't have any proof, but I suspect that's for financial reasons, economic reasons. Did not want to impact trade. Did not want to impact travel. World Health Organization dropped the ball. CDC dropped the ball. President Trump dropped the ball. Congress dropped the ball. Everybody, it's like it's like peanut butter. We're just going to take that blame, or we're going to take that blame out of that jar. We're going to spread it all over everything. We're going to put some jelly on there, and then we're going to have a blame sandwich. I thought it was pretty, guys. All right, let's go over and look at the carrots. And here we've got tomatoes, guys. Tomato plants coming up. My son planted these. He's taking some of the crops. I'm going to be planting the others. Nice sized tomatoes. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, dozen, dozen and a half or so, whatever. We're probably going to come in here and plant some more. Anyway, anyway, we need to take this serious. We also need to analyze the situation because not only is this a serious disease, but whenever the next plague comes out of China, and I said next because there will be another one, we know what to expect. We know that world leaders are going to drop the ball. They're going to bow to the big corporations because they don't want to impact trade, impact money. World Health Organization is going to drop the ball again. Mayors of the big cities like Como, oh, we need 20,000 ventilators, we need this, we need that. Well, what about the rest of the nation? You know, Houston, Houston, Harris County recently issued a stay-at-home order, a judge there. Oh, man, we got some little grass and stuff, and some of y'all say, Kevin, that looks like a lot of weeds there, guys. That's not weeds, that's carrots. For y'all non-formers out there, or people who don't do any garden, these are carrots. That's right, this is going to grow into a nice carrot, guys. Want to we'll be able to take and can that, preserve it. Now, all down through here, hundreds of carrots. And that's Bubba and that's Bo. All right, let's go look at the corn. Oh, huh. Ellis. Ellis Bear.
And what we've got here is corn. These are planted whenever these were being planted. More than one seed got dropped in there. We're going to have to take and pull that out. Should go ahead and do that. But as you can see, a lot of this is... We could probably fit another corn if we would have planted it close together. Probably put another one like every foot or so down through there. I think we got seven rows of corn planted here. So we got potatoes, a couple of rows of potatoes 200 feet long, corn, tomatoes, carrots already planted. Coming up next is going to be peas, beans, squash, zucchini, okra, peppers. I've got the bell peppers and the eggplant already from the store. Okay, so it's a good trial run. This coronavirus is a good trial run. It's taught us a lot, observed a lot. It's still going on. It's the way people have pan uh, panic bought, just cleaned out the stores of everything they could find. The canned goods, the toilet paper, rice, beans, just all kinds of stuff. Some of the dollar stores here in town or just sold out everything but the jalapeno, jalapeno Vienna sausages and that stuff so nasty the preppers don't even want it. Anyway guys and gals, stay safe. I'm going to start, start posting videos again. Took a break for a little while. Took some personal time. Just a lot of stuff going on in my, in my life. A lot of good stuff. A lot of real good stuff. Anyway, I will talk to y'all later.